Yeah, so carrying out so carrying out the reaction in the two CSTRs. First is the volume V1, then with volume V2. So overall volume is V1 plus V2. We get the again the final conversion from C is equal to C L. So what we have is V is equal to total volume V1 plus V2. So now let's see advantages of a single CSTR having volume V. Single CSTR. Giving conversion of CA0 to CF. Let the volume required be capital V. So we need to find out whether there is some difference between VT comma V. So for this We need to go for this plot What we will be plotting is 1 by RE versus concentration C by RA as the Y variable versus the concentration C. So if C A is this would be suppose C A naught this is some sort of C A final. So as you know rate decreases with decreasing concentrations 1 by RA would increase. So we will be having a graph of right exponentially decrease. So where this gives the term 1 upon minus r a right there as this is at C n of In the concentration from the CA not minus CA. So what we get is if you want to see the design equation of this tau one. So V1 by V0, C A not minus C A1 minus R A. So what we have is nothing but one this term. Is this. So, area of this rectangle so, sorry, rectangle would be rectangle which is the one which I have. Mark with black mark. So what we have is 1 minus R A as the length and C A naught minus C A F as the breadth. So this is what gives us tau. Now this if you are carrying out in a single CSTR from C A naught to C A F. If you go from C A naught to C A1 Let's say C A one is here. So one this would be this point would be one minus of R A at C A one. So the rectangle now was the first reactor this would be the one which I have marked in black over here. This is tau 1. Now then we have C A1 to C A F. 
CAF is this, CA minus this. What we have now is this into this. So now you can see to add tau one. This is tau one. This is tau two. So you can see tau one plus tau two is less than the tau. And this is the quotient. So once we have derived this, tau one plus tau two is less than tau. What essentially you are saying is B one plus B two. Total volume required is less than capital V. Capital V, where we have concentration C A naught to C A F in a single reactor, whereas here we have used two reactors. So the total volume required is less. So advantages of using C S T R in series is not only the design volume required is less, but finally what if you have more than two C S T Rs in series. Finally, what you would be achieving is a plug flow type reactor volume. So, just moving ahead, we try plot what we have in PFR in series. So let's find out again that here whether V1 plus V2 and V different or same. Now design equation for PFR we know is Reaction in two PFRs, what would be having is tau one and tau two. So tau one would be from CA naught to CA one, and tau two would be from CA one to CA L. From, from the property of integral, we know if you have the same integral evaluated over different integrals. There is continuation from CA to CA1, CA1 to CA L is nothing but tau 1 plus tau 2 given CA0 to CA L which is equal to tau. So having series of PFRs or a single PFR doing the same conversion, there is no change in tau, hence there is no change in no change in tau. Therefore, V1 plus V2 is also equal to V. Since tau is nothing but V by mu naught, mu naught remains constant. So for T, tau to remain the same, V1 plus V2 has to be equal to the total volume. So carrying out a reaction in a single PFR, in a series of PFRs, doesn't make any change in the tau, the residence time, or the total volume. So let's see how the plot looks. Again, the same thing 1 minus minus 1 minus r. We are plotting with respect to concentration C. We have the graph that this be C A naught and this be C A F. This is the point. 
Now we have the expression of tau to be this 1 minus Ra as the y variable, Ca is the x variable. So it's like nothing but area under the curve, just like we have y dx. It's of this form, y is nothing but 1 minus Ra, x is nothing. Area under the curve will give nothing but the integral. So this whole under the curve bounded by the ordinates at CA0 and CAF gives you tau for the PFR. Now compare a single PFR and a single CSPR. What we had for CSPR is nothing but the rectangle. So this rectangle have this excess volume. You can see this part is what is excess. So, if you compare tau of CSTR and tau of PFR, from this graph it's clear area under the curve gives you tau PFR, whereas this whole rectangle with the dotted line gives you tau CSTR. So, tau CSTR is greater than tau PFR for the same mu zero. CA0 and CAF. Hence, the volume required for a CSTR reactor would be greater than the volume required for the PFR reactor. So, what are the advantages of having PFR in series? Then, since we have found out that there is no change in tau, no change in V. But still there are some advantages, it may be with respect to if the reaction is a non-exothermal reaction. Maybe an exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction. For exothermic, what would happen is the temperature of the reaction mixture would go on increasing. So it's possible that some, some reaction which are runaway reactions which can't be operated is some specific upper limit till which we need to carry out the reaction, otherwise there will be decomposition reactions, it may be explosive, that is example for nitration reaction, there is some temperature limit till which you can extend the reaction temperature. So for isothermic reactions, if you are not removing heat by carrying out adiabatically, so there is no removal of heat from the reaction uh, reactor, so that would be the temperature of the reaction mass would increase. So it's like if you carry out in a single PFR or a single CSTR, the temperature may increase a lot. So instead, it's, if you carry out in series, what will happen is once the rea reaction mass comes out of the first reactor, you may have a heat exchanger in between where you may go for heating or cooling. For exothermic reaction, it would be the cooling of the reaction mass, whereas for endothermic, it would be heating. So when you want to provide some sort of heat transfer, in between the inlet and the exit concentration, then this type of series in CSTR or series in PFR would be useful. So we have compared tau of CSTR and tau of PFR, PFR in series, CSTR in series. There is one more concept when we deal with CSTR in series, we get a single, this for a single CA1, similarly we may have CA2 dot by dot giving CAF. So we have more than one CSTR in series, maybe n. Then there is four to five CSTRs in series would approximate the crack flow. Now you can see we have gone for this CA2. So this would be the rectangle. Then it would be CA3. This would be the rectangle. And then it would be CAF. So when you have more than Many rectangles for different CSTRs, it would approximate the area under the curve as represented by tau of PFR. So, tau of CSTRs in series 1 plus 2 tau n would more or less approximate tau of PFR. But there would be additional fixed cost dealing with the respect to the reactor as well as the operating cost.
So it's depending on the circumstances, we need to decide whether to go for a single reactor or more than one reactor. So 